What's up guys? Welcome back to New Bissell. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can get yourself the permanent version of the Portal Fruit for absolutely free, guys. Yes, guys, in today's video, I'm basically showing you guys a glitch that can give you guys the permanent, like, Portal Fruit for absolutely free. So as you guys can see right here, this one right. So as you guys can see, I already have the permanent version of Portal Fruit because I did this glitch. So uh, yeah, I'm basically going to show you guys how you guys can get yourself the permanent Portal of fruit for absolutely free and blocks fruit so yeah guys let's get on to this video so the first thing you're gonna have to do is basically come to the first sea in the pirate starter area no the pirate starter area in the first sea so yeah now when you're here all you guys gotta do is just go ahead and go over to the box with dealer first off click on this guy click on continue now guys get do you just go down until you see the last fruit that you don't have so basically the last fruit that you don't have the permanent version of so all you guys get do just click on view on the last fruit that you don't have the permanent version of and click on the robux icon just like that now click on cancel cancel exit just like that now after you've done that all you guys get do is just first off set your home point if you guys are uh, like uh, from uh, like the first sea and you came to the pirate side area first off set your home point guys okay so uh, yeah I think I gotta set my home point too because I was at Sky Islands before. So yeah, I guess I do just set your home point. Now after you set your home point, go ahead and go over to Middletown. Just like this. Just go ahead and go over to Middletown. Now when you're in Middletown, all you guys gotta do is just go to the back of this mansion and you should see the blocks for a dealer. All you guys gotta do is just go ahead and go to this guy and do the same thing over there. Like that and exit just like that now after i've done that go to the back of the uh, like the middle town and you should see the pirate like the marine star area not the pirate star area so yeah basically go ahead and go to marine star area and there you should see another block spread dealer all right i cancelled out my scorching donut okay and i'm back again just go ahead and go over to the block spread dealer in this island Click on this guy, click on continue. Now, guys, what I do is click on view on the last fruit that you don't have the permanent version of. Click on the Robux icon, click on cancel, cancel, exit, just like that. Now, after you've done all those three, all you guys can do is just go back to the Pirate Star area. So, basically, use your like home point. Now, when you're back in the Pirate Star area, all you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to the Source Dealer, click on this guy. And basically click on katana and click on purchase right here so do this even if you have the katana guys okay now after you've done that go ahead and go over to any npc in here and basically kill one with only the katana guys just like that now after you've done that go ahead and take the bandit quest right over here and now completed so you don't need to use the katana for this one you guys can use anything you want so basically just uh, complete the quest so yeah Alright, I'm just gonna make it quick and basically kill them with my fists. Just like this. And I have completed the quest. Now after I've done that, I guess yeah, I do just go ahead and go to the bandit quest cave again. Click on this guy and basically get the quest again. Like this. Now this time I guess I do just abandon it. Now click on track on your current quest. Go over to like the jungle area. Just go ahead and go to the jungle area, just like this. And we are close to the jungle area and we are at the jungle area right now. Now all you guys get to just basically go ahead and go over to the quest giver first off. Like this, click on this guy. Click on the good looking one, click on confirm. And basically get yourself the Gorilla King quest. Now after you get yourself the Gorilla King quest. All you guys gotta do is just go ahead and go over to Gorilla King. And basically defeat this guy. Just like this. Now all you guys gotta do is just basically go ahead and go over to uh, like the uh, Blockswood dealer. <coughs> okay I finished that dude off. So yeah now after you've done that all you guys gotta do is just basically go ahead and go over to Blockswood Gacha. Click on this guy. Alright is he gonna fight again or what? I don't think so. Okay, so yeah. All you guys can do is click on alright, click on random fruit, and basically get yourself a random fruit just like that. Now, after you get yourself a random fruit, all you guys can do is just basically go ahead and go over to like the quest giver again. Click on this guy, click on monkey, and click on the uh, like the monkey quest and basically accept it. 
Now, after you've done that, all you guys can do is just go ahead and go to Middletown. Okay, what is this dude doing? Okay, anyways. So, yeah, all you guys can do is just go ahead and go to Middletown just like this. Now, when you're back in Middletown, all you guys can do is just click on the weapons dealer right over here. Click on sewing chart and basically purchase yourself a sewing chart. So uh, you don't need to basically click on that thing if you guys already have the sewing chart. So uh, yeah, now after you've done that, go ahead and go over to the Paris Strata area. Alright. And we are here. Now when you're in the Paris Strata area, go ahead and go to the Bandit Ghost Giver again. Click on Bandits. Click on Confirm and get yourself the Bandit Ghost Giver. Now, after you've done that, all you guys gotta do is just go ahead and go over to any, like, uh, NPC in here and basically kill them once. Just like that. Now, just only kill them once, guys. Do not kill two of them. If you guys kill two of them, you would have to restart the whole glitch all over again. So, uh, yeah. Now, after you've done that, all you guys gotta do is just go ahead and go over to the blocks of dealer over here. Click on this guy. Click on continue. Now, guys, guys, do is click on view on like the last fruit that you don't have the permanent version of. Go ahead and go to abandon the quest just like that. Now, click on it, click on cancel, click on this, click on abandon, click on track just like that. Now, after you've done all those things, all you guys, guys, do just go ahead and go over to the board dealers right over here. So, basically, go ahead and go over to the board dealers just like this. Click on this guy, click on get yourself the free boat. Now guys guys do just stand on this free boat like this, get yourself the smoke fruit out and basically drop it in the boat. Now I guess guys do just let it uh, like uh, stay like that and do not use any boats uh, uh, from uh, this forward on guys okay so uh, yeah. Now after you've done that all you guys guys do just go ahead and go back to like the, like the jungle king, not the jungle king, the jungle area. So yeah, just go ahead and go to the jungle area again. I'm just gonna get ready if that dude is already there. Alright. And I guess guys, do just go ahead and go to the box with gacha. Click on alright. Click on random fruit. I click on buy just like that. And you should say you should wait that many like hours. After you've done that, all you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to any NPC in the gorilla king place and basically kill them. So basically the gorillas. Just click like kill one and that should do the trick guys. Now after you've done that, go ahead and go straight to this place right over here. You should see a chest over here, all you guys can do is just take it just like that. Now after you've done that, go ahead and go over to the quest giver. Click on this guy. Click on monkeys. Click on confirm and get yourself the monkey quest. Now after you have got yourself the monkey quest, all you guys can do is just basically complete it. Alright. Okay. I think I gotta wait until some of them spawns again. Okay, and two more just like this, and we are done. Now, after you've completed the monkey quest, story, guys, can do just go ahead and go straight to Middletown again, just like this. Okay, what what happened there? Okay, anyways, go ahead and go to Middletown just like this. Now, when you're in Middletown, I guess can do just go ahead and go over to this fountain right over here. Now, when you're at the fountain, all you guys got to do is just basically research your character while you're staying near the fountain right over here. Just like that. Now, after you've done all those things, all you guys got to do is just basically wait until the blocks with dealer shop refreshes. Now, when the blocks with dealer shop refreshes, all you guys got to do is just wait a couple of hours, I'd say about like one or two and after you wait that many hours so you guys can do you just go ahead and go over to like the blocks with gacha over there and get yourself a fruit now after you get yourself that fruit i guess can do you just uh, basically uh like look if it is the portal fruit if it isn't the portal fruit do not eat it guys okay so uh, yeah basically if it is the portal fruit i guess can do you just eat it and after you eat it you would basically get yourself the portal uh like 
Cal Fruit for absolutely free. And after you have done that, you should basically get the permanent version of the Puddle Fruit too. So yeah, guys, that is basically it from me. I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.